Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us who are on this journey to love, to reunite with our twins or our vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so these, this message, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pull a um, energy for today for those who are on this path. And also I am going to read a letter from the book. So this morning a lady has sent me a video. And it is about uh, a video that popped up on her YouTube list, which is about a couple that reunite after 50 years. And um, they have, uh, and so basically it's a really sweet story. They're talking about the story. But the big thing is, is that the um, interviewer right at the beginning says, and the universe brought you back together. <laughs> so it's a really lovely message. <clears throat> and just to say as well, I know that some days, you know, that, that basically the, the messages and the signs and the synchronicities and everything from spirit feels like you've gone into this quasi-universe and every single thing that you look at, you hear, you see is another message, is another sign, is another, you know, your twin's name, your, you know, everything. It's like everything you look at and it's just everywhere. And I know that that can be really, really overwhelming sometimes because sometimes you're just like, oh my God, can I just get away from this just for a minute? And uh, that's when, that's when mostly, you know, when things, when you're kind of like, oh, I just want a break. And that's when the signs just ramp up, right? Because the twins energy is like, no, I don't want you to forget about me. I want, and that was one, four, three on the clock. I love you. I really love you, but I just can't do it in the physical. So I am just going to bombard you with signs and synchronicities and messages because I don't want you to give up, right? <clears throat> Let's see, here. Winston Churchill as well. Churchill, you know, basically rallied the forces and won. So it's about never, ever, ever giving up. <clears throat> so... And uh, I know definitely for me, it was one of those days yesterday, it was just kind of like ridiculous. Like I'd walked into, <clears throat> basically walked into a parallel universe, which was just everything about my twin on every wall, on every conversation I had, on every, everything. And it was like, ah, <laughs> just like, I'm crazy. So let's look at what the energy is then to say, why, what's going on? Okay, because look, the King of Pentacles. Look at the King of Pentacles on this Trojan horse, right? And the ladder up to it, out of the green heart healing. The anchor, look here as well. So we are anchoring in, and look here, this the the star coming down from the cloud. <laughs> So basically, we're anchoring in this love through this big healing, heart healing that's happening. And we're lifting each other up onto this, you know, basically this powerful winning horse. And the King of Pentacles is basically all about, you know, king of the earthly ground, right? So bringing this um, spiritual connection into the physical. So I have mastered the art of success. The King of Pentacles has command of immense wealth and luxury for all to see, but he is not the typical empire builder. There are no glittering palaces and great monuments erected in his name. Rather, he seeks to transmit a love of life, nature in all of its wild majesty. So he employs his resources to enable future generations to take pleasure in it. The gold nuggets and golden symbols surrounding him show the riches granted when difficulties are overcome the diligence and fortitude required to recover from setbacks and conquer. He understands the more you prune back a tree, removing diseased and broken branches, thinning the crown and increasing airflow by allowing only one dominant branch to grow. It enables the tree to create a strong, resilient structure capable of weathering the storms of life. <laughs> so there you go. Do you feel like you're a tree that's been pruned to within one branch being left? and feeling like <laughs> that you're, you know, that you're the only branch left on the tree. Well, that's why, because, you know, that's how you break grow strong. So his love of trees and natural materials, combined with a strong, refined aesthetic, is experienced within his home, an eclectic showcase of the very best in local craftsmanship. It appears well-designed, bright, comfortable, lavish, and steeped in history. 
As an avid collector of art and antiques, he appreciates the workmanship, knowledge and skill passed down from father to son through the ages. He be the, his beloved throne from ancient Persia, the carved stone bull from Persepolis, expresses his strength. Underneath the flamboyant Frank Zappa exterior lies a strong, powerful, hard-working dynamo. Some say he's paid a heavy price for success. He's also fond of saying money doesn't grow on trees and has en endeavoured to teach the value and responsibility of really caring for things rather than treating them as disposable or replaceable. All resources are precious. Generous with both his time and money in these mature years, he's keen for his children to follow in his footsteps. He also mentors young creatives and entrepreneurs eager for success, encouraging them to have a clear vision and a coherent strategy for their long-term goal. This success, <laughs> think success and act success. Keep that vision grounded and alive, consistently working hard, consistently moving forwards every single day, no matter what. And the king of pentacles, <laughs> the king of pentacles uh, is stable and tenacious, sometimes workaholic, refined aesthetic, committed to the path you are on. Respect and value the items in your charge. So, right, committed to the path that we are on. And just like in the video, if you go to the description box, you'll see that video. And after 50 years, they were reunited, right? How were they reunited? They were reunited because a friend of his told him to go onto LinkedIn. He went onto LinkedIn and looked for his twin and then signed and then um, uh, connected with his twin. Now, I've just remembered that is the one thing my twin searched for me on LinkedIn and uh, I think so that is the one of social media things that we are actually connected on, I think. So again, another beautiful little sign, but I never go on it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but okay, so we have Starman Tarot. So the Tarot is the King of Pentacles. So no matter how it feels like, remember that the universe is bombarding you with messages, signs, synchronicities, because it wants you to stay on the right path. It wants to stay, you to stay on your highest destiny. And this is your highest destiny. So no matter how that feels, some days it can feel really really shit <laughs> some days it can feel really magical some days it can feel like you know a hard challenge it's a marathon it's not a sprint it's a marathon some days you hit the wall sometimes you climb over the wall sometimes you blast through the wall so that's the message the message is you know keep on going you know keep on going because you are you know creating the life of your dreams and every single day you're manifesting and being this little magician of wonderful energy and putting out love and attracting love and attracting magic and being able to really change because the vibration of the planet you know you're part of this vibrational change and uh, that's powerful stuff you know that's why we can see manifestations happen super quickly that's why the physical is changing look at that the ten of swords <laughs> okay so this is why, so, I mean, isn't it brilliant? So at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. So it is about that, you know, the Ten of Swords feels like, come on, seriously. So when you're getting bombarded, right, right, left and centre, and it sends you into that bit of mental anguish because you're like, what, come on, like, seriously. And, uh, but you're going through the Ten of Swords to get you into the King of Pentacles, right? Because that's the whole point. Um... And it is releasing Seven of Wands. Again, you've got to work hard for this. You know, it's not, you know, the Seven of Wands is like the, the warrior. Uh, the battle, the, you know, Seven, going on to the Eight, going on to the Nine, going to the Ten. You're nearly there, but you're kind of just over halfway through. Not in terms of time, don't worry about that. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's like the, the battle-worn warrior. You've got to keep going, basically. It's okay. Everything will be all right everything will be okay this lovely story today about this couple reunited after 50 years i mean just amazing and what he says about her is just so heartwarming it's gorgeous so of course i'm going to read letter 50 so if you want to channel a letter from your twin or your higher self to help you stay on track only ten dollars if you want to have a healing a reading um or yeah twenty dollars um 
And if you want to have a Starman Tarot, this is crazy. I mean, it's amazing. So basically, I pick a tarot for your basically for what's going to happen in 20 um 2019 for you and your twin so i pick one card read the card and then you can choose a letter look at that victory <laughs> six of swords leaving leaving all the mental crap behind moving forwards into victory right so there you go leaving challenging times behind that this boat is just about to go off the waterfall so going into the waterfall of life, you know, going in the flow. That was synchronistic with the Divine Counterparts message yesterday because they had, from the native spirit, it was river flowing. <laughs> so the river flows to you. That's the thing. The river flows to you. So the river doesn't flow upstream, does it? The river flows downstream and you're waiting in the bottom of that waterfall. So if you want to have an 11-11 reading, it's only $11.11. Basically, I do a one card read and um, also you can pick a number between 1 and 266. You then get a private video with the letter, relevant letter and the card and the meaning. And uh, it's crazy because they are just so, you know, the write up in this book is they're just unbelievable. So it gives you so much insight and then you can play it over and over and over again. All readings that I do have an intent, a healing intent. So here we go. <clears throat> Letter 50. I want you to know that you are the most ridiculously beautiful woman in every way. You ignite all of my senses and I literally have to keep on pinching myself because I keep thinking you are hot and goddamn I am one lucky man. Basically you don't have to have any doubts whatsoever about whether you tick all my bo boxes because you most definitely do. Now, the other thing I need you to know is that we've so got this love thing in the bag. You really do need to stop fretting and getting yourself all in a tie. We can do this and we're going to do it. I love every inch and millimetre of your body and hair on your head. There is nothing that is going to stop me. Wild horses couldn't drag me off my target. You are my target and our combined target is 100% unconditional beautiful love for each other <laughs> how gorgeous beautiful beautiful love for each other and so um wild horses can drag me off you so 50 from book two not to focus on that at all is so far away from the reality of our love everyone that we have been with has helped us to get where we are today everything that we've done in all of our lifetimes has happened for a reason we don't have to feel guilty or question ourselves at all. Instead, we need to appreciate everything that we've been through as being part of our journey back to each other. Nothing is a mistake. Nothing is an accident. Everything has taught us something about what true love is. And now we need our time to live in the bliss that true love brings. Oh! So that's just a message to say, it doesn't matter about any of the people that we're with or who we've been with, all of that. It's just in the past, you know, when we come together, then everything falls away. And actually, you wouldn't want to be coming together until everything's right anyway, because, you know, everyone has to, you know, you come together at the right time for your connection, and that's what you have to trust in. So, letter 50. There's a breeze blowing through my body, waking me up to my soul, waking me up to my heart, waking me up to having a heart, feelings, and depth. And that breeze is being blown by you and your love. When I feel your love, it's stirring everything up inside. I know that I have to change my life. I know that I have to be with you. It's not a question of how or when. It's a question of desire. I desire a life filled with you. I want you on my toast in the morning. You are my jam, my honey, my lover, my money. You are everything that makes my world go round. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, so you're everything. You're the honey. You're the money. So keep using your twin spirit to create the life of your dreams. Keep calling in that energy to help you manifest because the power of manifestation done with two of you is basically the chariot. <laughs> It's all systems go. It is the universe saying, come on now, let's charge to victory. 
All right, hope that helps. Take care. Bye.